Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I am so happy to come back on to share with you guys the results of my dad's surgeries. Yes, that's plural, surgeries. Last Sunday I came on and asked you all for good thoughts and prayers to be sent our way for my dad's angioplasty for his heart. And it turned out that he was too weak, too unstable, and was in such heart failure that they decided not to do the angioplasty and instead did an angiogram and installed a balloon pump, a heart pump that goes in through a artery to help his heart pump. So that surgery was on Monday and um, it was very scary for all of us, but he came out of it great. And then he was hospitalized for most of the remainder of the week. They wanted to see if they could stabilize him, get more of the fluids out of his body. It turned out that he had almost like 12 pounds essentially of water in his system that he was not able to clear out of his system. So they ended up giving him diuretics and putting him on a variety of medications and stabilized him. One of the nurse practitioners said to me that in fact, he was drowning on dry land. That's how much water there was in his system and his heart and other muscles didn't have enough room to do the work they needed to do. Uh, it's been a rough week or so. My sister and I have been spending 24 seven with my father so that we can help translate and also make sure that everything is being done correctly. I can't tell you how many mistakes we caught while we were there. Um, I really think patients need a patient advocate and particularly if there are any communication issues, um, I think that is absolutely critical. We saved my dad from so many errors, uh, obviously not intentional, but you know, it just happens. So after they got him stabilized on Friday, he went in for a new pacemaker and defibrillator. They were wondering during the week if they would have to do a more emergency kind of surgery to do a valve clip for one of the valves in his heart, which uh, is not working properly either. And there's kind of backflow in his heart. His blood is pumping in the wrong direction. But they're hoping now with this new pacemaker, he had a pacemaker first put in about, gosh, a year and a half ago. And sometimes pacemakers like the one that he had with just two wires into his heart can actually make your heart weaker. Um, but at the time, his strength for his heart dictated that that was the proper pacemaker to put in. But now, uh, with his heart failure and with the other issues, they said a pacemaker that had wires going into both sides of the heart uh, would be better for him. And so they had that surgery, which normally takes anywhere between an hour and a half and three hours. And um, Friday was extremely nerve wracking because my dad actually was in surgery for over four hours. Sorry. <laughs> but all is well. He came out of it great, has been recuperating, and he was discharged and he's now resting at home and doing so much better. All of his shortness of breath, at least not all of it, but most of it has subsided. And we are so hopeful that he's gonna make a really good recovery. And um, in a week's time, he's going in for a follow-up checkup from the team that worked on the pacemaker defibrillator. That, and then uh, about two and a half months later, he's going to go in for another echocardiogram to see how much his heart functioning has improved from the pacemaker, hopefully, fingers crossed. And if needed, he'll go in for a third surgery in this short time frame for a valve clip or valve repair surgery. So please continue to keep my father in your thoughts and prayers. I truly believe in the power of positive thinking and prayer. So keep them coming. And thank you all so, so much for all the love and support you've shown me, my family, and my father. The extra private messages, the DMs, the cards. I can't tell you what it means to me and my family. Thank you so, so much. And I hope to be back on YouTube doing a crafty kind of video very soon. Thank you for listening, for caring, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you all are having a wonderful crafty day.